the first stage of me cleaning up the engine bay and smoothing everything out, uh, I already pulled the motor out, K-member out. The factory K member is not going to go back in. I end up going to the UPR K member. So, kind of a little bit of weight. The front of it's going to get redesigned for the radiator support and end up making my own radiator support. Uh, probably clean up around that hole. Uh, might end up boxing this over. That way, I can get rid of all the metal there and then I'll make a new post to support it. So hopefully all that is gone and it'll just be a single post right there. Gonna get rid of it. And plus down in that hole, it has some rust. So I think I'll end up cutting all this out. All this extra metal doesn't do anything. Then the tubing will go from there to the front side. Give us some support for the hood pins because they'll probably end up still running these hood pins on it. And then cutting this metal out, running a flat sheet in there, uh, get rid of this lip, get rid of the lower radiator support, I'll end up making my own. I don't want to change it too much, I want to keep this part of it, but I don't need this whole section there, so I end up going to a smaller uh, tubing on there. Get rid of the lip, Kind of get rid of the lip on everything uh, and then like I said fill in all the holes kind of smooth everything out it's gonna make it a lot easier now that the engines out I'll probably pull all the fuel lines and stuff out at least it shows what it looks like that's a lot of holes but this lip you can see it's got a couple of rust spots on it so once I get the cowl off then I can fix it if it's underneath that lip. And then this is going to end up getting trimmed back. So I'm going to take the inch off here. And then I'll just have that lip and just kind of smooth everything out. And get rid of that. It'll kind of make it all look a lot better. And fill those holes in behind the brake booster. Even though I wouldn't really be able to see it. I still want everything to be smoothed out. I'm not going to get rid of the sway bar. Or anything like that so when I cut it when you actually cut it it'll take just the top of it off and then I can just re-weld it when I weld this plate on there but the frame rails aren't rusted which is always good floors aren't rusted so probably, some might wonder well why would you even bother fixing it it's, it's not that hard to fix it uh, it's a lot. I could see if the car had rusted out frame rails, rusted out floorboards, and all that. This is really the only issue. So, this is what it looks like before. Then I can finish my front bumper support and then to clean it up, probably trim it, seal off the ends of it so it doesn't rust from the inside out, and then just kind of cut some of the weight off that's not really necessary to be there what can I go from there I don't know if I want to get rid of that top lip or not but this is what it looks like before doing anything so it kind of gives you an idea hopefully I drop a few pounds and smooth everything out on it I think I end up looking a lot better that's it